Good morning Internet! In this video I want to talk about five simple science misunderstandings in a nutshell. To begin with, the common misuse of mass and weight. Mass is simply a measure of how much matter something contains. Weight is the force that it exerts due to gravity and depends on where you are. So you have the same mass here as you would on Mars, but your weight would be different because the strength of the gravitational pull would be different. Then, asteroids, comets and meteoroids and the difference between them. Technically, asteroids are tiny planets that are made of rock and metal and orbit the sun. Some are large enough to be considered dwarf planets, some are no bigger than, you know, 10 meters across. Comets are pretty similar things, they're rocky space objects, but they were formed further away from the sun at the birth of our solar system and still contain ice. This is also why comets have a tail, because as they come closer to the sun, the ice starts to evaporate. And lastly, we have meteoroids. Meteoroids are smaller pieces of comets or asteroids that somehow broke off. Now, as a meteoroid hits the atmosphere, that's when you'll see what is called commonly referred to as a shooting star or a meteor, which is just a term given to the visible light that a meteoroid creates. And when a meteoroid actually hits the ground and crashes, that's when we call it a meteorite. So meteoroid, small space object, meteor, burning thing in the sky, and meteorite, crashed small space object. And last but not least, the Goldilocks zone. People commonly say that there is a specific region around a star in which life is possible, not too close and not too far. Our planet is obviously within that region, which we call the Goldilocks zone, and which is why we were able to evolve. The problem though is that the concept is a bit too limiting. I mean, sure, we couldn't survive outside the Goldilocks zone because we evolved in one. But that doesn't mean that life isn't possible outside of it. Even here on Earth, there are organisms surviving in boiling and freezing waters in places without light, places that are highly acidic, and that's just on this planet. In theory, you could have organisms based on silicon, organisms so different from us that they would have entirely different Goldilocks zones that we couldn't survive in. So the concept of the Goldilocks zone, the way most people use it, applies to us but not necessarily to life in general, or at least it changes depending on the life form. But that is kind of it for this video. If you have any comments, put them down below. You can find my Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr in the underbar. Click the like button if you like this video, share it, if you really liked it, and I'll see you guys next time.